Hi, my name is Jen, and today I'm going to be walking you through using a non-rebreather uh, with an anesthetic machine and how the oxygen goes through the system. Our oxygen first starts out in our tank. Um, this right here is a uh, E-tank, so it's a small one. Um, and it's going to go through two separate spots before it actually gets into the system. And that is... And that is our pressure reduction valve over here. And then it's also going to go through our line pressure gauge, which is hidden back around here. And then I will show you the rest of the system on our nicer machine up in surgery. Okay, so um, to hook up our non rebreather, we need to make sure we have two important things hooked up. Uh, one, we want our Bluetooth hooked up into our scavenging system, uh, which is an absorbed canister on this one. And then we want our other two hooked into the fresh gas inlet. So oxygen through the machine with the non rebreather comes through the um, comes through the oxygen tank uh, and enters our flow meter first. So this is where we set our rate for how much oxygen, how many liters are being given. Um, between that is the oxygen flush valve. Um, it's recommended not to use this on rebreathing systems, but it will flush the system with oxygen. Um, from there, the oxygen goes through into the vaporizer, and that is where our vaporizer uh, and oxygen together come through the fresh gas inlet. As they go through the fresh gas inlet, they enter the breathing circuit, um, and as it goes into the patient, back out of the patient, um, if we needed to use our pop-off valve for the non-rebreather, it is actually uh, on the tubing. Um, it's down here, it's a small little switch. You wanna be very careful that you're keeping a close eye on if it's open or closed, because of course if it was closed, our patient would not be getting any oxygen. Um, after that, it goes into the reservoir bag, and any of the wasted gases there go into our scavenging system. Thank you.